There you go. And I'm gonna look in with my light. Say ah. Ah. Uh. Perfect. And then I'm going to check the capillary refill on your fingers as well. Good. So can you raise your eyebrows for me? And smile. And frown. <laughs> and can you close your eyes and not let me open? Good, and can you clench your jaw? Perfect, and can you move it for me? Good, and don't let me open your mouth, okay? Good, and can you push against my hand? Good. Good. Right. I'm just gonna feel your pulse. Good. So I'm gonna start with your, stick out your tongue, and to the right, and to the left, and to the roof of your mouth. There you go. I'm gonna lift this up just a little bit. And now I'm going to go into a deeper um, palpation, so please let me know if it becomes uncomfortable. Alright. Right. So I'm going to move down to your legs. Your temperature feels good in your hair distribution. I'm gonna feel the pulses. All right, and I felt this one, but not so much this one, so I'm gonna come back later with a Doppler, Doppler okay? do the capillary refill on your toes. And then can you push up against my hands and then down on the gas pedal? I'm going to start with a cotton ball. So can you keep your eyes closed and let me know when you feel the cotton ball touch you, okay? Okay. I can feel that. I can feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it. Feel it, 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 feel it. Okay. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. 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 Dull. Do it again. Yep. Dull. Perfect. Sharp. Good. Thank you. <coughs> and then touch my finger. And then back to your nose. Good. And then repeat. <laughs> the Sotvik session right now so you can kind of get a look and feel for how it is me and Lorena already had a nice check-in and checked in with her physical state and, and uh, her emotional state and um, her intention and uh, so we're just gonna go for it so are you ready yes all right so go ahead and put your head right here lay on the fire center and uh, the neutral zone of the, of the fire center 
is the positive zone, the eyes are the positive zone, the fire center, and the middle toe is the negative pole of the fire center. And I'm just really gentle, saw big rocks here. And inner peace and generosity, all the beautiful blessings that nature gives humbly. And the tone is yang, and we're taking it higher. And good to know. So it's called the five pointed star. We're going to here, to here. Awesome artist. So just take a deep breath again, get in touch with your body, and describe to me now what are you experiencing sensationally in your body. Just get in touch with the sensations I experience. Physically or energetically. I feel heavy but light. I feel like energy is flowing freely in my body. Very tingly and warm. Feels very cool. This we call the cradle of the sages of old. This finger, and you line it up to the back of the. Um, CSM, and he's going to turn the head just to so you can see where the index finger follows the CSM. And you just cup the back of the head and allow the client's head to rest there. The vagus nerve is the connection between the, the mind and the stomach. It's a good place to start, helps your client relax. You want to hold this and I a light pressure as you pull the occiput towards you. In essence, we're creating space between each of the vertebrae, starting from C1 all the way down through the thoracic spine, into the lumbar spine, down to L5. So as you hold this, you want to visualize creating space between each of the vertebrae as you go down. From here, we're going to move to from here, then we cup the eyes. Allow your thumbs to rest on the third eye with your index fingers running along the nose. Don't block the nostrils. You're just taking away, again, another of the client's senses. And then from here, we move to the client's right side. I'm sorry, our ring finger goes to the cheekbone the middle finger goes to the outside of the eye orbit and then the ring uh, index finger goes to the top of the forehead and then our thumbs rest at the hairline. And that is the second ending head move. Once you've held this, then you slowly remove your hands Move to the client's right side, feet brushing them up the arms, across the shoulders, down the chest, down the thighs, off the feet, throwing off any negative energy in your pass. And you are done. Or so. And our top hand, our right hand, comes to the top of the forehead where our baby finger 
and our index finger go to the outside of the eyebrows and then the middle two fingers rest on the forehead and our thumb goes to the uh, center of the head which is the in order to take the toe pressure that ensures that you'll get a sufficient waveform wrap the toe cuff around the toe It is okay for the toe cuff to overlap itself. It is not okay for it to be too short. Both ends should be overlapping on the toe. Apply the phototransducer to the pad of the toe, distal to the cuff. If the Velcro strap provided doesn't work to, um, to apply the transducer without overlapping the cuff, then a piece of double-sided clear adhesive tape can be used to apply the transducer to the toe. So apply it to the, the toe, to the transducer and then to the toe. Turn on the MD6VR chart recorder and you'll see the patient's waveform pulsing on the position bar graph. Make sure that the MD6RP is set to artery mode. This eliminates baseline change, which is not desired in doing... How to check cap refills. Get rid of our fingertips, press down on the nail bed, and boom. These are good cap refills, less than three seconds. Good circulation going. And that's all it is to it. There you go. So your pain for shin splint's going to be on the inside of this leg area right here. And so it looks like if my person had shin splints right now, their pain would be probably about in this area. If their pain's more in this area, you want to move the pre-wrap up. You want to kind of just make that pain center your middle ground for where your pre-wrap goes. Put some above it, put some on below it. As part of a vascular exam, a student may choose to check their patient for both capillary refill in the fingers and the feet. At that point, the student just pinches on the nail until it's blanched and they're waiting for blood to return to that area. The same thing may be done on the feet. are not palpable at this time and then I'm going to feel for your radial pulse which is also palpable. Hair is evenly distributed throughout. It's nice brown and blonde in color. Um, are you having any pain or tenderness upon palpation? No. Okay awesome. I'm not feeling any presence of um, masses or lesions. I don't see any abnormalities and the head is nice normal for you. Um, palpation again I'm just going to press and let me know if you have any pain or tenderness. No. Awesome. Intact. I'm going to go ahead and look at the sclera and the conjunctiva. Sclera is nice and white. Uh, conjunctiva is pink in color. I don't see any. And I'm going to start up here. 
and this is our pre-auricular into the post-auricular and I'm testing all of these bilaterally into the tonsillar and then the occipital, superficial cervical, deep cervical chain, posterior cervical, and supraclavicular. Do you have any pain or tenderness upon that? Okay, none. So looking at the exterior of the foot, no presence of abnormalities, skin lesions, abrasions, anything like that. I would have said capillary reflex, but she does, or uh, capillary pulse, but she does have nail polish on her feet. Everything is looking great. Pull your shirt up quick here. Skin is warm, dry, intact. I don't notice any lesions, deformities. Do you have any pain? Okay. Skin tucker has good elasticity. Cap refill is less than two seconds to the rest of your body. I'm just gonna feel around for any bumps, lumps, or bruises, and I don't note any. The hair is evenly distributed, no parasites. The hair is brown. Did you have any pain? This is here, just tell me if you feel any tenderness at all. Yes. Okay, and there's a temporal artery, bilaterally. Great. The external structure is no lesions, and the color is appropriate to ethnicity, as was the skin on the arms and legs. Do you have any pain when I'm feeling here? No. Okay, and no drainage or anything. Okay, I'm gonna pull up and back. The tympanic membrane is curly gray, translucent, no drainage, lesions, or anything. Still, I'm going to start with the pre-auricular, post-auricular, occipital, tonsillar, submental, submandibular, superficial cervical, deep cervical, posterior cervical, and supraclavicular. You can tell us for me? Perfect. And I could do that again. Awesome. And I'm just going to feel that. Feel the bottoms? Yep. Perfect. Further, once we have you stand, I'll check your legs. That looks good. Check out your feet. That looks good there. Check out this one. Okay, that looks good as well. All right, Ethan, let me get a little bit more hand sanitizer. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at your um, eyes, your eyebrows, all of that looks good there. Let me take a look here. Conjunctiva, that looks good. Sclera, white and nice and white, clear. Okay, let me check a look at your the other eye. Perfect, perfect. Okay, go ahead and open and close your jaw for me. Okay, again. Okay, any pain or tenderness when I uh, palpate the temporal arteries? No, no. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Looks good. Doesn't look like. Looks good. Okay, now I'm gonna check the refills on the toes. Oops. Gotta make sure the camera's in the way all the time. Perfect. Good. Okay, so I push out. Okay, push up. Okay, do like you're doing on the pedal. Push on the pedal. No, no, no. <laughs> like, like you're pushing on the gas. Good, 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 good. Okay, and don't let me push it down. Okay, now you hold it down. Try to push up for me. Good, good, good. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the Babinski. Let me check out your feet. We got a little friend under the table, but that's okay. Good. Good. Okay. I'm gonna assess your joints here. Have you had any pain in your joints? No. I'm do this bilaterally. There's no deformities or anything in the joints. Good integrity in the skin again. Um, you can feel the epitrochal your nose, and they are not palpable, which is shame. Um, I'm just gonna look at the bottom of the feet, and there's no lesions, deformities, bruises, anything. Um, also on the top of the feet. And I'm looking at the toenails. No ingrown. Self, if that's okay, I'm just gonna feel around a little bit. Um, everything looks good. 
No dryness, no bumps, no bruising, nothing hurts? Nope. Okay. And then I'm just going to feel your ears as well. No tenderness when I feel anything here? No. Okay. Good. And then I'm going to just look. Everything looks symmetrical. Skin coloring is normal. No lesions, nothing like that. Um, next, I'm just going to feel for lymph nodes. So starting in the back with the occipital. Mm -hmm. Post auricular. Pre auricular. Consular. Parotid. Submandibular, submental, anterior clavicular, posterior clavicular, and supraclavicular. And just squeeze my hands as hard as you can. Good. Um, push away from me, and then pull back. Good. Okay. Everything's great there. Um, next, I'm going to move on to listen for an apical pulse, which is good. And then I'm going to listen here while I feel for your carotids. That feels normal. I'm just going to feel for the other one as well. And can you turn your head each way? No pain? No. Good. I don't see any distension, so that's fine. And then I'm just going to take your socks off to feel your uh, pedal pulses. Okay. So starting with your dorsalis pedis. Good. Pulses are bilateral and equal. And then on your post -tibier, uh, tibialis. Great. Right, everything feels good there. I'm just going to uh, check the capillary refill on your toes. And it's good. It's under two seconds. While I'm here, I'm also going to do that with both of your fingers. Good. Everything looks good. And then if you don't... Your head for lesions. Okay. I'm going to check your scalp for lesions. Okay. Any stress, any pain with that? No. Great. So while I'm here, I'm also going to check your ears. Let me know if there's any pain. So check the targets. Feels good. Yeah. Great. Okay. Can you um, shoulder strike for me? Great. So that's spinal accessory nerve. Now I'm just going to check your sensation. Feel it. Okay. Can you grab my hands? Yep. Great. And then um, I'm just going to check capillary refill. Okay. It all refilled. Good. Check your radial artery. Okay. Pulse are, are uh, normal. Awesome. Foot. Mm -hmm. Occipital lymph node. Okay. Post auricle. Pre auricle. Parotid. Uh, tonsillar. And then submandibular. Submental. Posterior. And then anterior, and then subclavicular. Awesome. Any pain with that? No. Nope. Okay, great. Is can you feel this sensation? Yes. Great. Um, I'm just gonna feel the dorsalis pedis pulse. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm gonna feel the posterior tibialis. Okay. Everything feels normal. Mm -hmm. Can you push against my hand? Yep. Good. Can you put a pull? Yep. Push up. And push down. Good. And now what I'm gonna do is capillary refill. Okay, everything is awesome. Um, and then, so just take a look at your ears. Yeah. Any pain or tenderness with that? No. All right, so look at your trigus. Any pain there? No. All right, now let's look at your post auricle and pre auricle. Great. Nothing's there. Occipital, your post auricular, your pre auricular, your peritoneal and tonsillar, submandibular, submental. I'm going to look at your anterior cervical, posterior cervical, and then your subclavicular. No tenderness.